then we come in the palm area and we can see the transfer scan the flexors these are flexor tendons in the palm Ulnar collateral ligament can be scanned by putting a probe in this direction that is towards the extremity and here we get quite quick ulnar collateral ligament this is the ligament which is called ulnar collateral ligament we can scan it in short axis here it is the right ulnar collateral ligament which is hypoacquic <coughs> coming to pathologies indications for ultrasound of the hand and wrist include carpal tunnel syndrome ganglion cis foreign bodies especially radiolucent foreign bodies tendon tears of the flexors and extensors and tenosynovitis Pathologies include trigger finger, gamekeeper thumb, stenner lien, extensor hood injury, pulley tear, and pseudo tumors along with tumors. This is how we look for carpal tunnel syndrome. We look for the size, shape, symmetry of the vessel. We compare it with EMG. and here is the carpal tunnel syndrome you can see the inflammation and hypoechogenicity of the nerve so it will be inflamed just above and below <coughs> the compression showing inflammation uh, we will take the transfer section at short axis and we will measure the area the area in this is 0.21 cm square and the range is from 12 to 15 so inflammation will be diagnosed will be in, in, if there is inflammation causing increase in the area is more than 15 mm square plus minus 0.8 uh, that will indicate carpal tunnel syndrome here it is waistline defect you can see that there is normal and then inflammation of the median nerve another case you can see you can compare it to the other side this is normal and on the other side there is inflamed hypoacquic median nerve at rest indicating carpal tunnel syndrome we have a clip from one friend this is long axis and you can see the movement of tendon and above the tendon there is gliding of the median nerve even on cross section you can see this is tendon with tendons are moving but nerve is not moving by moving the fingers of the patient it is just gliding on the tendons then we have a case in the second finger here is a foreign body which was a class we can measure it long axis and it will give you punctent echoes this is another foreign body which was almost missed on x ray and we got hyperacquic area which was a glass in the hand and then it was confirmed this is wood having a caustic shadow glass will give you reverberation artifact and metals will give you long comital artifacts there is another foreign body which was a glass and it was taken out in ultrasound guidance the extensor tendons of the wrist we have discussed how we scan if there is a tear it will give you this discontinuity here is a partial tear of the extensor pollicis brevis tendon decurvance disease this is the prominent area here you can see that and here here is the tenosynovitis 
fluid around the tendon within the sheath and you can confirm it long axis there is fluid around the tendon determines tenosynovitis again scanning this area patient had uh, swelling here with pain especially on movement of mm, pollicis or movement of the thumb and on ultrasound we found that there was a lot of fluid with inflammation of the tendon here it is and we compared it with the contralateral side which was normal there was no pain in this side there is no fluid sheath is normal tendon is okay but the tendon here on the affected side was inflamed more in size and it was having some fluid around it extensor hood injury is another pathology which can be seen there is a patient with extensor hood injury and you can see the tendon along with tenosynovitis this is normal tendon of this finger whereas on this finger there is fluid in it and it is slipping down then comes mallet finger it is bony in origin it can be tendon in origin there is a case of mallet finger and in the same patient you can see this is tendon in origin then comes trigger finger in trigger finger here you can see the thickening of the tendon with microcalcifications here are the microcalcifications along the thickening of tendon flexor tendons with pulley tears you can see the pulley tear this is a tear of the pulley flexor tendons again with pulley tears here is the pulley tear again this is flexor tendon and it was confirmed on short axis in both cases this is a neutral and then flexion by having flexion it was deviated to one side ligaments of the thumb are very important and game keepers or scares scares thumb is important there are different movements which are seen in in game keeper and scares thumb this is ulnar collateral ligament which is normal and here is a tear at long axis and short axis then comes pseudo tumors there is a case of pseudo tumor at the dorsal surface of the hand <coughs> and dorsal wrist ganglion cyst dorsum of the cyst there was a small projection and when we scanned we saw that there is a ganglionic cyst which was confirmed by comparing with the epicellular side and scanning it at the long axis a patient with ganglion cyst again there was a cyst and this type of sonogram was there this is radius lunate and the tendons and there is a cyst which is originating from the ganglion another case of dorsal cyst is ganglionic cyst the scan long axis and short axis peritendinous ganglion cyst just adjacent to the tendon it is peritendinous moving with the tendon nail lesions this is normal nail we confirm that on the short axis and we can find glomus tumors glomus apparatus regulatory mechanism excruciating pain in the nail bud and bluish discoloration of the area there is excessive flow on doppler we can have um, mucus cyst in this area in just below the nail within the nail bud it is dorsal dip joint osteoarthrosis hebbardens not nail matrix and we perform the dd of glomus tumor
here is that lien which is mucus cyst <coughs> tumors of the hand are relatively common benign tumors and these can be ganglion extensive sheet cyst mucus cyst joint cell tumor or lipomas here we have right side and the left side and you can see here is a mass which is benign whereas the, in this case it is normal and when we compared it was confirmed here is another case of lipoma on x-ray soft tissues are there it was compared on CT and MRI so in conclusion we can say that in hand and wrist we use ultrasound for carpal tunnel syndrome, ganglion cysts, foreign bodies, tendon disease, ligaments. Thank you.